We have Australia's largest range of tyre brands and sizes. Find a cheaper identical tyre locally stocked and we'll beat it. At Bob Jane T-Marts, we'll look after you. Action see South Melbourne travelling to Oakley Cannons for Friday night football in what's shaping up as a really entertaining clash. Tim McGlone, good to have you back in the commentary box this week and a really tough challenge for South tonight. Thanks, David. Yeah, first versus 12th on the ladder tonight, but ladder positions are always irrelevant when these two sides meet. Should be a great clash. Oakley, a really dangerous side. Let's see how it plays out. Fans are in good voice and the players are ready to get underway in what's shaping up as a really entertaining clash. for an option, using Jawadi, the provider for the winner last week. Now Jawadi, had Epifano running, opts to use Norton, plays it low, Epifano on the right foot. Dangerous ball reverted by the open defence, but Milovanovic with the low, vicious shot. And we keep saying it, but one day, he's really going to connect with one of those. Throw up the line for Brennan. Played in deep, Epifano might get a chance here. Goes round his marker on the right foot, Epifano. It was a nice turn, nice build up. Got round his man well, but just couldn't keep the shot down that time, Tim. Got into a dangerous position, Epifano. That's a good sign for later on tonight. But as you said, we see his shot coming in here, just goes over. A good start for South Melbourne, though. They look dangerous early. It's positive attacking intent. It's good for South as Milovanovic plays that one deep. Ball headed down, Bakadesh plays it in. It's pinballing around in the box, Oakley. Well, Bosniak's got some space and he should be able to get it clear. Bosniak goes on a run, uses Pavlovich on the left. Pavlovich, cross field. Lots of space for Hornos, he's one on one with the keeper. Hornos with the shot into the bottom corner. Oakley had the lead, one nil. They get South Melbourne on the counter attack. It was a nice ball from Pavlovich. South Melbourne, despite being very positive in the first half hour, have been undone here and they trail one nil. You said it, David, they got us on the counter. It's a great ball here from Pavlovich. And we see Lambros on us. He's in acres of space there after the free kick up the other end. And it's a wonderful finish, it must be said. Roganovic, absolutely no chance into the bottom left-hand corner. We trail 1-0. It's been a bit of an issue this year. We've been done on the counter a few times. And this is a great finish from Lambros on us. We trail 1-0. Yeah, disappointing for South. They were looking good up until that point, but no doubting the finish from Hornos there. Jawadi looking to contest that one, but it'll be Oakley who come away with it. And they'd love to hit South with a quick double. Really put them under pressure before half-time. Might get an opportunity if they can find the space. Defence stoic for the moment, but uh, breaking through there. And with the shot just over the bar, and Oakley very close to a second quick one that time. Jawadi delivers, but chopped straight off by the Oakley defence there, and they should find space for a bit of a counter-attack through McLean here. Tries to play Pantelides, met by Marlon. Pantelides flies in on Tim Marlon there. The South player is not happy with that treatment. The Oakley enforcer coming squaring up now with Dane Milovanovic. Well, fair to say it's caused a bit of a spat between the two sides here. The referee taking action. Yellow card for Pantelides. I don't think he can have any complaints with that. It looked like a pretty reckless tackle at first glance. The replay here will give us a better indication. Well, Marla definitely arrived first. Pantelides, that leg was trailing. It was nowhere near the ball in the end. He's caught a good piece of Timmy Marla. And strength Timmy Marla there stands up well in the tackle too. Raganovic will shank that clearance, but it might come off for Epifano. Epifano through one on one. Epifano the left foot. That one sails over the bar. It was over the top of Hornos and flew over the crossbar. And a very promising move comes to nothing, Tim. It was a brilliant bit of work here by Epifano. Gets past two, uses his pace. You knew he was going to go around the Oakley defender there. But just lacking the end product on that occasion, way over the bar. Epifano will be disappointed with that finish. You can see it as well on the reverse angle here, Tim. He just had so much, probably almost too much time there, Epifano. Really need just to get that one on target. Raganovic plays it short to Milovanovic. You'll have to be careful there. Pavlovic trailing and, uh, well, I think a free kick's been blown there. Milovanovic looks very, very sore. And now they're signalling, Pavlovic, in fact, is signalling to the trainers. And, uh, well, this looks serious here for Dane Milovanovic. He looks very, very sore. And the players' reactions hold a lot there, Tim. Well, I just hope this isn't serious, David, but it doesn't look too good. Milovanovic really struggling to his feet. 
And this does not look good. He's been in good form too, the big fella in midfield. And we just have to hope that that isn't a serious injury. Well, he's tried to be stoic there, Milovanovic, but nothing could keep him on. It's a debut for Chris Irwin coming early into this game. Fano and Jawadi, nice link up work there. Jawadi plays that one deep, gets over Luic, chance for Brennan. Too much in front of him, Andy Brennan, that shot sprays wide. Now Epifano plays that ball in, but Hornos is too clever to be beaten by that one. Gets down quickly to his right. Jostling for the ball there, Irwin. And he's going to get it back here. Plays it out wide for Luic. Luic flicks it in, great run here by Irwin. Keeps his feet, doing a chance on the left foot for Irwin. And he's put it over the bar, it was a beautiful move, great build up. He'll be disappointed not to put that one away, Tim. What a chance for the youngster on debut, David. It's a great run. He started the move initially. The ball falls to him here in the box. And yeah, he's put it over the bar. He's looked likely since coming on, Chris Irwin, but uh, he would have liked to have finished that one, the 20-year-old from Avondale, who signed during the week. This is his first game, and he's almost scored for the club. What an impact that would have been. Marla plays that one in board. Barker Daish. Well, Brennan couldn't keep his feet that time, and. Uh, Oakley looking dangerous on the counter-attack once again. There's opportunities in the middle for them. Pavlovich has got way too much space. Pavlovich gets around Norton on the right foot. Pavlovich, great save for Gunovic, deflects that one wide and keeps South Melbourne in the game going into half-time, Tim. What a crucial save that could turn out to be. We see Pavlovich here, the former Wellington striker. He turns, and that's a fantastic save from the goalkeeper. He's kept us in it there. 2-0 might have been curtains, but a great save from Raganovic. Out muscled there by Pavlovich, who's looked really dangerous tonight. And a chance there for McLean. And McLean, we've seen it a few times at that end tonight, puts that one over the bar and sailing high. Oh dear, this is danger here for South Melbourne. Oakley streaming forward, but uh, Michael Eager, the skipper, standing up nicely in the back. Now Brennan. Brennan been very dangerous, great form the last few weeks as a goal provider. Plays Epifano. Epifano's left foot. Keeps it low that time, but can't get it on target. South Melbourne pressing for that equaliser. Arkadesh's free kick floats that one over. Chance for Adams with the header. Got down nicely, but straight into the arms of Hornos. Jawadi in board for Eager. Eager. Nice contesting there from the captain. Epifano plays it wide. Now Bradley Norton. Norton steps over, looks and waits. Plays it back for Epifano. Can't see anything he likes in front of him. Holds onto it, Epifano flicks in this time. Now Brennan with the turn. He brought it down well, but he just rushed the shot and put it over the bar. Another chance goes begging for South. Story of the night so far, David. A lot of shots going over the bar for South. A wonderful first touch from Andy Brennan, the big Tasmanian, but he's put that one way over. Substitution here for South Melbourne. Chris Taylor looking to change things up with David Sturton coming on for Andy Brennan. Arkadesh looks in front of him, plays the ball across the field. Now Irwin. Irwin gets through his man, Chris Irwin, looking for an option, plays it in and nothing there. And Oakley will get that one away. And uh, now Bosniak, this is dangerous. He's tall, fast and strong. Gets past Timmy Marla. Marla goes to ground, Bosniak keeps his feet. Bosniak gets past Michael Eager, plays it in, board and it's gone and it's 2-0. I think the last touch might have come off a of south boot. The goal's got to be credited really to Bosniak. He's done all the work there. South goal, well, that's bitterly disappointing. Another goal copped on the counter-attack. It's a tremendous run from Bosniak there. You see he shakes off Tim Mahler. Michael Eager just unable to stick a tackle. And it's a dangerous ball that he puts across. Pavlovich is in there, but I think it's come off Jake barker Dace there. So 2-0 to Oakley. And it's the same story again, David. A chance up the other end. Oakley get on the counter and the ball goes into the back of the net. Nothing Roganovich can do again. We trail 2-0. Well, they've got to make something happen urgently here. Sturton's ball floats in. Hornos gets the punch. Spills to Epifano. And Epifano just couldn't get any kind of real connection with that one. Barkadesh flicks that one up for Luic. Luic manages to keep it to Irwin. Now Jawadi flicks it in, looking for Luyic or Sturton. Misses both and goes through, and perhaps it's just not South Melbourne's night here tonight. 
Barkadesh. Trying to keep skipping through Barkadesh, and that one just not sitting for him. Marla heads forward, but Oakley charged forward again. And we've seen this once already tonight. Space for Bosniak. He's been so dangerous tonight. Dusan Bosniak gets in close. Bosniak across the face and just wide. In fact, it's floating out. Eager. Plays Epifano. Epifano chasing and harassing. Epifano brings him down. That will be a foul. And looks like the referee's reached for a yellow card as well for Nick Epifano. Disappointing for him so late in the game. And uh, well, Michael Eager throws the ball. Looks like it struck his opponent on the arm there. He'll be getting a card as well. In fact, it's red. Michael Eager's been sent off. Well, in injury time, South Melbourne, a red card to their captain. That just caps off a dreadful night for the club, Tim. It looked like a big brain fade from Michael Eager. We'll have to wait and see what happens with that one. But uh, it rounds off a disappointing night for South Melbourne. Bosniak, well, we're in the death throes of this game. And the referees called time on that one. South Melbourne's great run comes to an end. 19 league games without a loss. It had to happen eventually, Tim. A bitterly disappointing night for them. But of course, we do have to put it into perspective as well. Yeah, that's right, David. A disappointing night tonight. The undefeated streak comes to an end. The South supporters will no doubt be disappointed, but they've been tremendous tonight. The great atmosphere at Jack Edwards Reserve, and that owes a lot to the travelling South supporters. In the end, it was the Oakley Cannons who took their chances, and that's why they got the points tonight. They put them away when they were there to be taken. This week's Fix Hellas Beer Man of the Match Award goes to our hard-working midfielder, Hickey Jawadi. I've got assistant coach Dimi Tiaris here with me and uh, Dimi, fair to say the players and uh, coaching staff must be pretty disappointed after that. Yeah, it wasn't great actually. It was our first loss in, in a while. Um, so we actually didn't play that badly, I thought. You know, we, we dominated possession, had a few chances, but it was two killer punches as well. You know, a couple of boys maybe should have put a tackle in, uh, didn't get close enough, but that's how it works. We, we were okay, but... It was the red card at the end as well, uh, Dana's injury. Um, so that's the thing that really uh, was most disappointing. It's a perfect example of how you have to take your chances because we were probably on top in the first 25 minutes and probably most of the first half bar copping the goal and all of a sudden, you know, you get deflated by that and, and we ended up having to chase the game, which we just couldn't do. Yeah, and then that's the thing, you know, uh, Chrissy Irwin uh, made his debut, was quite good. Um, he had a chance, um, Epa had a couple of chances and, they really just had one ball come across, spit another ball across, and it was a good finish. And uh, from there, they sat back. Yeah, really disappointing. Boys are pretty flat inside, as, as they should be. Um, but, you know, the thing that really was tough is, you know, the injury as well. So Dane looks could be long-term. Um, and then also Eggs as well at the end. So uh, that's not great. Yeah, obviously, uh, a couple of players are definitely going to be missing next week. We've got to bounce back against North Geelong, so at this stage, it's a bit hard to know exactly what you're going to do, but you'll have to pick yourselves up during the week and, and remember that we do have a league game in a week's time. Yeah, of course, and that's the thing. Look, it's, it's a big squad. We've got some quality players on the bench as well, so they'll get an opportunity. Uh, defensively, we're a bit short, um, so we might have to rejig it with CT and see what works, what doesn't. Um, but we've definitely got players as well that can come in. You know, If you look at our bench, Matty T, uh, there's Lee and there's a lot of boys out there. Um, Sturz came on, they can slot straight through. Defensively, we're a little bit short, so um, we'll have to work on that on the weekend. You might have to pull the boots on, mate, so uh, the way we're looking at back. <laughs> I'm ready. I was telling the boys, I think I'm ready. Uh, a bit sharp, so uh, no, we'll see. Look, the window's still open as well, so we'll see what options there are and uh, we'll go from there. I got the debutant Chris Irwin here with me and uh, Chris firstly congratulations on your first game for the club and your signing unfortunately probably not the exact circumstance you were looking for no not at all it was a bit of a disappointing result I mean we we dominated most of the play we had uh, got to got to get up from here and uh, hopefully get the win next week which is what we want you were forced to come into the game after about half an hour with Dane going down obviously not exactly what you planned does that make it maybe easier if you don't have to think too much about it oh, a little bit I wasn't even expecting to be on the bench to be honest I only I only got registered today, so I wasn't even expecting to come on, to be honest. But, yeah, done, hopefully done my job and unfortunate for the result, but there's always next week. Obviously, you'll be desperate to get your first win with the club. So, you know, another opportunity next week against North Geelong at Lakeside. I'm sure you'll be keen to get back out there. Yeah, definitely. Just trying to hopefully consolidate my spot as early as possible, get gel with the boys. I've only had one training session with them. So hopefully over the next couple of training sessions, gel with them a bit more, understand how everyone plays, and then hopefully they can understand how I play. And then I guess we'll go from there.